Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today, I got a box. I love getting boxes. Um, this is actually from helifactor.com. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. But what they sent me was this. And this is Heli Heli Factor. Um, what these are is folding props for the Blade 350QX. Um, kind of a, a nice, uh, nice idea. Um, this is actually the tri-prop version. Um, they don't yet have the, the standard prop uh, version out yet. Um, let's see, it's the 9th of March. I think it's, they're going to be in the next like 8 or 10 days um, before they release the, uh, the, the standard prop version. So for now, they sent me the tri-blades, the tri-props. And uh, so... We'll go ahead and dump all this stuff out here. Woohoo! Parts! I love parts. So this is the bag. Uh, these are actually the, the uh, adapters or uh, grips, prop grips. And then you get the, uh, the props themselves. Now, just looking at these, because this is the first time I've had these in my hands. Um, they're a little bit, they feel like the, uh, the B props, um, they feel a little bit stiffer than the B props. Um, the, the B props are a little bit thinner, um, for these, these are just a little bit thicker <clears throat> than your stock, uh, B prop. Uh, I would, however, like to see a carbon fiber version of that. Um, but let's go ahead and open up the interior bag and get to the meat of it. So these are the grips. Um, and so you see the center, you have six uh, mounting options. And so you're all, I believe you're only going to use two uh, mounting holes for the 350QX um, and then you have the holes and it's threaded on the back side here uh, for the grip and the screws are included for that um, so ah, screws parts we'll grab a screwdriver here real quick um, so now let's take a look at the difference between the blades. Okay, so you're, well, okay, so I've got a right hand, I've got an R, let's see if you can see that catch the light real quick, you get an R there, and you've got an L right there. And let's see if all the white par props are L's. I got two more L's. Oh, but I got an R. Okay. So I've got an R for right hand rotation on white props. So, uh, I'm going to assume that you have a, uh, a set for the front, uh, white set for the front, white set for the back. Uh, or black set for the back, um, or you can do it vice versa, um, but it, it, it appears that you have something, at least for orientation. Um, so then we'll go ahead and match up all of the black props, left and right hand rotation. Okay, so we're, we're all matched up there, um, and we're just going to go ahead and Slide the prop into the grip, take one of the supplied screws, and well, let's, okay, that's actually the bottom. Okay, so you got to make sure that 
this side is the bottom. This is the top. You just the top has no threads. The bottom has threads. Okay. Now, there are no instructions with it, so I'm really not sure how tight to tighten. Um, but I'm just, I'm going to tighten them to what I think. Uh, you know, to all of the, uh, the uh, screw stops for the most part. Um, you still have, and it takes a little bit of effort um, to, to push that down. Um, and so, here's, here's how you would have all folded up. Um, so I've got the 350 and going to grab okay got the uh, the appropriate tool and uh, we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we're removing the correct prop now with these are the uh, small part CNC aluminum prop adapters um, with the longer screws. We're just, I'm going to use those for now just to make sure that they uh, they're of the right length. And put them in. So what you're going to do here is you've got the open one on the bottom which your screw is going to go in and then you got the closed one on top that your second screw is going to go into and so I'm actually going to put it on my allen screw beforehand and thread it through screws from the CNC uh, small part CNC aluminum prop adapters they fit perfect um, it's they don't they're not too long to where they're gonna hit the windings and the motors um, and that actually looks pretty dang cool so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the rest of them we'll come back after I get the uh, the rest of the props on the 350QX We'll take a look at it and uh, we'll see how she goes. Alright, so we've got three of the four props mounted up to the 350QX. I got white in front, black in back. Um, but I started uh, balancing them. And what's really nice about these props, or at least the grabs on them, is the uh, hub in the center right here fits the shaft for my prop balancer perfectly. Um, so you go ahead and snug that up and now you have a ready to balance your prop. However, the uh, 
the angle on your props does play an important part when it comes to balancing them. Um, they they have to be perfect um, because just a little bit of an angle off like that and your balance is going to be thrown off. Uh, so what I did was I actually oh, screwdriver, uh, but I actually took the props back off the prop grab and grabbed my handy dandy scale and threw each prop on the scale uh, measuring it in grams and skate well weighed it out and then went on the back side and added weight where necessary um, that way you're not going to have to sit here and fiddle with getting these blades excuse me perfectly straight um, you can leave them just a tad loose and you're going to let inertia do the straightening of the props as you spool it up so we're going to go ahead and put the last prop on now one thing that I noticed while I was uh, was putting the props on is the the version 2 screws for the small part CNC uh, prop adapters on a couple of the motors actually did collide with the winding so I took them out and I went back to the stock 350QX prop screws um, and I had them laying around in a box so I went back to the stock props or stock prop screws and so we've got them all on presently and we're, we're going to go ahead and take the last two and mount this prop And you just want those snug. You're not going to want to over tighten them. And if you're like me, you're retarded and you have switched the props around, or you've put the props on backwards. Alright, so we switched the props back around and got them on the right way. So these are, I mean, really, these are, it's a really nice idea. Um, I really like the idea of having these folding props um, and this is how you would set these all up if you were getting ready to store it. That looks really cool. Um, I guess the final, the, the real test is to see how it's going to fly. Um, now I've got some confidence that these are going to fly like the stock 350 uh, tri-blade props are going to fly. Um, like I said, the, the props are you know about as, as a little bit thicker than the stock B props. Um, they're of course they're going to run. They're going to take a little bit more amperage to draw to to power them up. So you're going to right off the bat you're going to see. A little bit less flight time. Um, if you're using the Extreme Productions, um, which you all know that I'm a, I'm a huge fan of these props, um, I think that, you know I mean, you're you're definitely going to see less flight time with these over these, um, you know, or any two bladed prop, just because of the extra amount of inertia that you, the motor's going to have to spin. Um, so you're going to look at a little bit higher motor temperatures, uh, higher amp draw, reduced flight time. Um, I, I'm curious to see once I get the, uh, the my thrust stand, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with these props, these props, the two bladed version of these props, the stock B props in the two and three bladed version. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and 
toss a battery in this thing and set it up and see see what we think. All right, we got the 350QX uh, with the Helifactor foldable three blader props spun up on the ground. Let's take her up and see what she does. Now, already when I got this thing up off the ground, I can feel that it's a little bit, it's a lot more stable in the air. However, you can see right there from my uh, flashing low battery light, I've run three batteries through it now um, all of them fully charged and they're all giving me this uh, low battery indicator light within the first 30 seconds of lifting off um, so I know these are good batteries um, I, I flew with them yesterday I flew all day long with them yesterday and was averaging seven and a half to eight minute flight times with the 350 um, Fully loaded just as it is now with the uh, the 350Q or the, the uh, GB200 gimbal on with GoPro 3 on it. Um, so why all of a sudden she's giving me uh, low battery warning lights? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna park it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, find out why. Okay, so I did find out that I grabbed a. a somewhat discharged battery so it was giving me just a little bit of a, a low battery indicator there um, but just from what I can see right now from these guys um, aside from the stability that a three bladed prop offers you over a, a two bladed um, these are quieter than even your your uh, extreme production carbon fibers um, they're I would I would probably put them on the order of thirty to fifty percent quieter than the uh, the extreme productions. Um, every time I would uh, go and and give it full throttle, um, the the response that I had from it was not quite as good as the extreme production carbon fibers. Um, just because the rigidity of these blades is not uh, not anywhere near a carbon fiber blade. Um, so you're not going to get the immediate response that you're going to get with carbon fiber. However, the principle behind these are, are very sound. Um, I, you know, I like them a lot. I did find uh, one thing that you... Where did my screwdriver go? that you're going to have to do uh, if you get these and put them on is you're going to have to leave them just a little bit loose oh where oh there it is uh, you're going to have to leave them just a little bit loose the uh wow and you're going to have to find a screw that's not gummed up full of crap because uh, really if you have them tight um, sitting here trying to find the the appropriate angle um, to get those blades at is going to be impossible. So if you leave them just a little bit loose so that they can flop freely, as soon as you power up the quad, they're going to spread out and they're going to find the their own uh, alignment. So. I would recommend these if you want the three bladed uh, prop um, but you want something that's a little bit more compact than your standard um, tri prop, the, the, uh, the B prop, uh, tri bladed prop. Um, I, would, I would definitely put these above those. Um, as far as what you're getting, the product that you're getting. Um, below 
a carbon fiber for um, for flight duration, length of flight. Um, also below carbon fiber, just because of the the uh, extra heat that is going to be put off by the motors, um, and that's one thing that the 350QX is is not you know ever really been known for is is uh, excessive heat, but. With a three-bladed prop, you're always going to generate a little bit more heat um, and put a little bit more strain on the motor. So you might see a motor wear out a little bit faster than it normally would. Uh, but on the whole, I would give them, I give them my endorsement. Um, I'm really excited to see the two-bladed props come out. Once the two-bladed uh, the props come out, um, we're going to do heads-up comparison f between every uh, 350 prop that aftermarket prop and stock prop so the extreme production carbon fiber your stock B props the uh, and the Helifactor um, foldable prop system thank you for watching my video uh, if you like it go ahead and click the like button in the comment section below if you have any questions drop me a line and as always, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.